Hi. At the end, I'm going to review a new product. It's called Cherry Cola Oreos. And I'm going to show you this. Yeah, it's reversed. What can I do about it? Anyway, I just picked these up. Uh, I know someone who said, hey, you got to go to Walmart and buy these things. So I did. <clears throat> but what I want to talk about before I do this is, well, what Oreos has been doing. For the last couple of years, what Oreos basically has done is ask people, what flavor Oreos would you love to have? And they've had all kind of ideas. And I have tested a lot of them. I don't usually do fruit, except for cherries. I did the cherries, I did the apple pie. Um, I don't didn't like the apple pie. I did the key lime, I like the key lime. But in general, I've tried a whole lot of them. Some I've liked, some I haven't. But the point is, they have at least expanded the brand enough so that people can go in and test some of these things. And they've kept some. They haven't kept anything that I thought was actually great. <laughs> Everything that they decided to keep as a full product was something that I really wasn't pulling for. But, you know, there it is. And it turns out that this is a better way to market. For instance, there are multiple flavors of ketchup. There's multiple flavors of mustard some of them by the same company. And back in the day, when I first was trying to market my book online and my management training program online, what I did is I actually also sold them in sections. Because my first book is basically three sections. There's kind of the setup part, then there's the description of different personality types, and then there's the section where I bring up leadership questions and I answer them. And what I could do with that is I could sell each one of those for less than the whole thing. But if someone decided to buy all three sections rather than the whole thing, it cost them more money. I did the same thing with my training program. I broke that up into five sections because there were five sections in the, in the manual. And I did the exact same thing where I charged each section less. But if you bought all of them individually, it cost you more than buying the whole thing. Now, I didn't sell a lot of those. I did sell a couple of, like, one section of my book. I didn't sell any of them for my manager training program. But that really wasn't the point. I mean, it would have been nice to do it. But, you know, it's hard to market leadership products. It, you know, it just is. I still at least tried it. So, you know, I did that video where I talked about creating your own products and trying to sell. And this is just another idea, something you can do where you can break off parts of a product maybe, and separate it into a multiple products at a lower price and let people decide if that's how they want to buy some of it. You still make money. Uh, if you average it out, you end up making more money. I know you're going to say, well, geez, but I only made a dollar of this or whatever. But if someone decided to come back and buy them all, or if they decided, you know, after they reviewed one part, they were going to buy the other thing, you still made more money. Just something else to think about. So let's review this cookie. Like I said, Cherry Cola Oreo. I decided to go ahead and open the package because I'm in the car, so I didn't want to set it down. This is what it looks like. So obviously the red part is supposed to be the cherry part. I don't know if the other is just vanilla. And on the package, it says it's got popping candy in the red. So I'm gonna try it like this. Oh my, there's popping going on in my mouth. <laughs> I never had pop rocks or anything, so this is kind of interesting. So the candy is popping in my mouth. I gotta tell you the truth, it does not taste like cherry cola. Matter of fact, I'm not sure it tastes like cherry. I taste something, I kind of like it, and that's the best I have. Um, my mouth is still popping, and I still got this other one. <laughs> That's weird. You know what? I might have put this on a white cookie instead of the chocolate cookie. But there you go. So anyway, I say, you know what? Take a shot at it. Go for it. That's what I got today. Talked about the product. Talked about creating your own products and maybe finding ways to break them down. Let me know your thoughts on that part. And also let me know if you try this cookie, what you think of it. 
My name is Mitch Mitchell. I hope you have a wonderful day.